Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is not a DIY gym equipment video, however. In this one, I'm changing out my flooring. If you're familiar with my channel or familiar with my gym, you'll know that my flooring was in serious need of an upgrade. I moved into my house in 2019 and started building my home gym, but that process really kicked into high gear in 2020. I slowly upgraded and expanded my gym through buying and selling in the used marketplace. This process got me a lot of free flooring, which is awesome because flooring can be expensive. The problem is this flooring that I got for free was a mix of all sorts of different stuff. I had a deadlift platform in the center, I had a three quarter quarter inch stall mat under my rack. I had half inch foam flooring on one side that didn't match the half inch foam flooring on the other side. I had various half inch stall mats in random places. In other words, it was a mess. I'd wanted to change up my flooring for a while, but with a possible move on the horizon, my plan was to just wait until I got into my new space and then do stall mats throughout. That is, until commercial flooring popped up on Facebook Marketplace only 10 minutes from my house. This dude had bought a building that was previously a commercial gym. He had all this flooring rolled up. I messaged him right away and told him I wanted four rolls. If you're not already aware, even at 3 8 inch thick, this flooring is extremely heavy. I brought my neighbor with me who's a pretty big guy and even with his help, we couldn't get the rolls into the truck. We had to unroll, cut them in half, re-roll, and then we were finally able to load them into the truck. We took them home, unloaded into the garage, and called it a day. The next morning, I start prepping my gym. I have a basement gym and it's pretty full, so the idea of moving everything out to replace the flooring is just not gonna happen. I start with the bumper plates, the specialty bars, and everything that's against the far wall. Next is my power rack. During this time, I happened to see a reel from Basement Brandon using these furniture sliders to help reorganize his gym. I saw the reel a little too late because I was already halfway done with this, but I still bought a set and I still recommend using them. After that, I remove my dumbbells. They're going into a big, messy pile off camera. Once I have the first four feet clear, it's time to put down my first roll of flooring. When I bought this stuff, I wasn't exactly sure how much I bought. Once I start unrolling and cutting to size, it's pretty clear I got way more than I need. My gym area is 19 by 15, so I start cutting these into 19 foot rolls. Then I roll them up, wrap them, and start bringing them downstairs. When I lay it down and unroll, I try to get as close to the wall as I can, but I'm not super stressed about it because I am going to be moving soon. Just got to get it close enough. In preparation for the second roll, I move everything to the wall. I also start putting some stuff back. I move the rack and then start disassembling the deadlift platform. Once that's out of the way, the second roll goes down easily. These rolls don't all sit flush against the wall. I'm okay with that because the dumbbell rack covers it up. For the rest, I'll need to get my functional trainer out of the way. Again, this process would have been 100% easier with the moving pads. I just sort of scoot and walk it slowly out of the way. It's a little sketchy, but I make it work. The leg curl extension machine is the last thing that needs to be moved. I have some scraps I cut down to fill in the last few gaps. Cutting the flooring lengthwise in straight lines is difficult, but again, I'm not stressed about it being perfect. Once that is down, I scoot the functional trainer back into place. I cut another small piece to go in the corner and fill in a few other small gaps. What's nice about this new flooring is that I can angle the leg curl and extension machine and functional trainer diagonally, which flows much better and makes the space feel bigger. On these last few end pieces, I add gaffers tape to the seams to help cover the gaps and some more where the mats transition to the floor. 
Man, it feels so much better in here. Just for reference, my gym is just under 300 square feet. Covering it all in stall mats would have cost around 600 bucks. If I bought this flooring new, it would have been about 750. And that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. What kind of flooring do you have in your gym? I'd be curious to see it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.